Hey guys, Fitness Science here. I want to do a video about Oscar Ditburner. Now, apparently, um, he has a lot of gonochromasia, and that's true in his TikTok, which went viral. Uh, you can see it quite clearly. And I wanted to do a video to explain why he has it, and actually that it may not be steroids, as a lot of the comments are saying, accusing him of using steroids. But I think um, we need to keep an open mind with some of these people because the truth about gynecomastia is that you actually can get it when you've never touched a steroid in your life and when you're completely natural. So what is it? Gynecomastia is a proliferation of the glandular component of male breast tissue. We have glands uh, in our breast tissue just like females, but what these glands are usually supposed to do after puberty for males is atrophy and just completely waste away so that it's not evident at all, especially when compared to a female breast. But with the right stimulation of estrogen and progesterone, the male breast tissue can actually respond in a similar way, obviously not to the same extent, but in a similar way to female breast tissue and expand and grow and have cell growth and proliferate into a bigger mass. Now, there are a number of mechanisms, but scientists have sort of come to a consensus that it's mainly based on estrogen in men and that some men are really sensitive to estrogenic stimulation in their breast tissue and the glandular component of their breast tissue, um, especially as young men go through puberty, which they've shown, yes, there is an increase in testosterone of about 30 fold, but there's also a big increase in estrogen signaling and estrogen production too in men of about uh, threefold. So men before puberty to after puberty have about a 300% increase in estrogen as well as obviously testosterone, which is, you know, a 3000% increase. But in young men, they do have actually an increase in estrogen. Now, one study actually found that in young men, even like in between the ages of um, 20 to 24, they can have gynecomastia, um, which I think defined in this study was greater than two centimeters, but less than four centimeters. So like a nut shaped um, lump of gynecomastia. Uh, some rates are up to like 33 and 35%, which is quite interesting because that's saying like one in three may have a little bit of gynecomastia in that age bracket. And it actually increases substantially as you get older, like looking at the 45 to 59 age bracket, 57% of those men had some form of gynecomastia. Now scientists note a decrease in testosterone levels as we get older, but estrogen pretty much stays the same and potentially estrogen even increases because we know that aromatization of anabolic hormones like testosterone uh, primarily happens in liver, muscle, but also adipose tissue, very strongly in adipose tissue and older men. Typically, as you get older, you put on more adipose tissue, you're not in such good shape and um, potentially there is a lot more aromatization happening, especially because estrogen will stay the same, but testosterone decreases as we get older, may uh, lead to an imbalance in these hormones, meaning that older men, as we can see in the study, almost like 60% of older men had some form of gynecomastia, which was very interesting. But in young men, they're thinking that some men um, may just be really sensitive to this estrogenic stimulation and this signaling that comes from the estrogen. And especially in breast tissue, gynecomastia can result in some young men that are really sensitive to estrogen. Now, artificially, we can do this through using steroids because as we know, steroids will have a huge increase in the androgen profile, which leads to downstream aromatization and therefore estrogen signaling. But um, some young men may have this effect without even touching steroids. It's just that they've had such a big increase in testosterone potentially they're aromatizing more of it into estrogen and therefore really sensitive after puberty to this new estrogen in their body, especially in their breast tissue. Oscar is 17. So he was born in 2004 and he's 17 years old now. I think potentially he could be on steroids, but also potentially it could just be a natural process. And a lot of these comments are just claiming gynecomastia without actually understanding that you can have it naturally, especially as a young boy going through puberty when your hormones are fluctuating to a huge degree. And it's really the first exposure you've had to huge amounts of testosterone, especially um, as it's aromatized into estrogen. He may just be really oversensitive and the glandular component of his breast tissue is really sensitive to the new estrogen and therefore he's developed this gynecomastia now. I'm sure he's already very self-conscious about it. Um, the lumps themselves are quite 
prominent and they're quite big. I'm sure he's very self-conscious as he posts this stuff, especially on a big medium like TikTok. It's had millions of views and, and um, almost 50,000, over 50,000 likes. Um, I'm sure he's self-conscious about it. I think the fitness industry is about lifting people up and especially the health side of it is about um, promoting healthy lifestyles and good health habits. Now he could be on steroids and all what I just said would be thrown out the window, but I think we need to give people the benefit of the doubt and be potentially a bit less judgmental in the fitness industry because some young men may um, have gynecomastia that they literally can't do anything about and they will put themselves up online in the effort to try and you know make themselves feel better and all these comments uh, about gyno and steroids and that he's got this purely from steroids even though it might be a natural process that he literally can't do anything about so i can't hand on heart say yes or no as to whether he's been using steroids or has used them in the past or whether his gynecomastia is a result of his excess androgen exposure as a result of his potential steroid use but all i want to say is that if indeed it is a natural process and if indeed he has acquired this gynecomastia naturally that is a very legitimate medical um, phenomenon and is very common. So I just wanted to say there's nothing wrong with him if it is natural. And to all those guys out there who are thinking gynecomastia is only as a result of steroid use, it's not. You can get gynecomastia naturally, potentially just because your breast tissue is so sensitive to estrogen, potentially more sensitive than other men. And if you do have it, don't feel like there's anything wrong with you, especially if it's naturally. Um, there are many ways to fix it, one of which being a pretty minimally invasive surgery that can be done in one day easily and the heal time is very quick. So don't think there's anything wrong with you. And um, yeah, that's this video just because I saw this TikTok and I thought I better do a video because um, if he was indeed natural, then I think it's sad that everyone jumps on the bandwagon, bandwagon of immediately saying steroids, even though it may not be. Um, I'm sure he's already self-conscious of it. And if it is natural, then I wish him nothing but the best. And I think, um, yeah, we need to be a bit less judgmental because he could very well be natural. And then he's got all this hate. Um, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I've explained gynecomastia and that it can actually come through naturally. And if you're interested in more videos like this, my channel is all about health, fitness, and the science of health and fitness. Please consider subscribing and I appreciate all your support hugely. My idea for this channel is to bring out as much high quality scientific literature and analyzing the science of current fitness trends in order to therefore make your fitness lives a bit easier in navigating what can be a pretty confusing fitness industry. So thank you for watching um, and I'll see you next video. Peace guys, thanks.